I wanted to create a video on tapioca because I've gotten this question over and over and over again. Is tapioca keto friendly? Let's take a look at it. Where does tapioca come from? Well, it's a starch that comes from the cassava plant. And if you think about how many carbohydrates it has, it's quite high. In fact, the carbohydrates from cassava flour is 25% more than white wheat flour. Now, if we compare tapioca flour, not fiber, which we're gonna to get to in a second, with almond flour, and we compare uh, a fourth of a cup, with tapioca, you're getting 27 net carbs, but with almond flour, you're only getting three net carbs. So you could see that tapioca can get out of control very, very fast. But now I wanna show you something that's very, very interesting uh, because recently you'll see this ingredient in a lot of so-called keto-friendly products or snacks or bars or powders or recipes. Soluble tapioca fiber. It sounds pretty safe, right? And soluble tapioca fiber is the same exact thing as prebiotic tapioca fiber, which is the same thing as organic non-GMO tapioca fiber. Well, this may not be organic, but it's usually not GMO because they don't grow cassava GMO. But all of these are very, very similar, if not the same. Now, Here's the problem. When you do research on this right here, you're not going to find hardly anything out there, especially of the, uh, the glycemic index. What you are going to find is tapioca fiber is a very big common source for IMO, isomalto oligosaccharide. This is a common sweetener, uh, so-called keto-friendly fiber sweetener and a lot of the ingredients that you'll see. In fact, I used to recommend it in one of my videos until I found out it, it creates some problems, so I no longer recommend it. I didn't know it at the time because if when you did research on it, it didn't have some of the studies that they have now. But isomalto legal saccharide has the same glycemic effect as glucose and dextrose does. So on the glycemic index, Glucose is at 100, okay? Sugar, like table sugar, is between 65 and 70. So IMO is 100 on the glycemic index. It is way up there. It will uh, spike your blood sugar. So when you're consuming the soluble tapioca fiber, um, which sounds very, very safe because it's a fiber, and in fact, if I'm not mistaken, they can even list it as the fiber which could be a hidden source of a lot of carbs and you don't even know it. Now, the reason that they use it is because it makes the dessert taste really great and sweet and it gives it a nice texture. And it's very, very convenient because it comes in the syrup and it's, you can mix it up and it, it comes out beautiful if you're making cookies or certain keto desserts. The source of most of this is from China, but the big problem is when you actually are using this ingredient it's very similar to using just straight glucose or dextrose. It's not even that you're using sugar, table sugar, you're using something that is worse than sugar. So if you wanna stay keto friendly and stay in ketosis, I would recommend staying away from not only tapioca flour, but definitely tapioca fiber. And if you want a video on some better sweeteners, check out some of these videos on the screen. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.